Okay, Mr. Wan, opening the window takes what kind of energy? Question everything. Question That's fifth all. grade teacher Preston Teeter's message to his almost elementary science students. It's mechanical because it's doing what? Move. You gotta move. So I'm gonna write this down. I want them to ask why. I want them to walk outside and say, Mr. T, why is the sky blue? Why did that bird just make a sound? Why did I just trip over those rocks? You know, anything that happens, I want them to question it and be able to understand why it happened. Fantastic. What about a battery? Teeters, also known as Mr. T, is a product of Northeast ISD and attended Wilshire Elementary, Bradley Middle School, and MacArthur High School. After graduating, he decided to join the military. I spent four years in the Army. I was, uh, you know, I was an intelligence analyst with the 82nd Airborne Division, and I worked a lot behind computers. I worked a lot uh, jumping out of airplanes. Sergeant Teeters was deployed to Iraq and Kuwait and now uses many of his unique experiences as teaching points, like in a recent classroom debate on whether clouds are liquid or gas. To bridge the gap of that misconception, I told him, I said, well, one time I jumped out of an airplane and there was a cloud that was too low, so I went straight through it and I came out the other side wet. So how could that happen? So they all sat there and they said, oh, well, now we know clouds are liquid. Teeter says many teachers in this district impacted his life and now he hopes to do the same. Looking back there was there was not really a time that I didn't want to be in school. The number one teacher that stepped out to me was Miss Barris at MacArthur High School who was our avid teacher. She never turned me away ever. So whether he's helping students decipher complex vocabulary terms or showing them how to take proper notes, Teeter's teaching students that science is all around them. I have kids at recess come up to me and ask me questions about science, or they'll sit there and they'll be, you know, on the swing set and they'll be like, Mr. T, it's force in motion. And as one of only two male teachers on campus, this Army veteran hopes to be a positive role model to his students. I tell them you can be whatever you want to be but you have to try. That's the biggest thing that I want them to walk out of my classroom with, the thirst and the drive to keep going and to understand that nothing is owed to us. We have to work hard for it.